Good morning, everyone. You are watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin. Town Council meets tonight, and joining me to discuss the orders of the day, I welcome Town Council President mm -hmm. Jessica Rapgrassetti. Jessica, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Enjoying the spring-like weather. I know. Isn't it so nice to see the sunshine? It is. It is. It's, it's wonderful. So, uh, a busy evening ahead for Town Council. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, before we get into the orders of the day, if there's anything that's going to uh, appear before uh, you get down to business. Um, you know, there's uh, one report um, this week, and that's from the Economic Development Commission. And uh, we'll be hearing from the chairman, I believe, Chris Kehoe, yes. on that. And that's our only uh, presentation or um, outside of the agenda because we do have a very busy agenda with all the capital improvement items. So, um, Indeed. So to talk to me a little bit about uh, the orders of the day, there are some, some items. Uh, I think every, almost everything is under, under old business uh, this week. That's right. The items outside of the um, um, budget items or the uh, capital improvement items are 067, which is vote on the merits of a group petition submitted in reference to uh, um, the uh, Barnstable Charter and specifically the uh, uh, Cape Cod Commission uh, that was um, postponed from the, our last meeting due to a posting error. So we uh, wanted, wanted to get that right, and we'll have a public hearing on that. And that's just uh, to vote on the merits of the petition itself. I would like to keep the discussion uh, on the on the petition and not not so much on the merits of the commission at that meeting. So. Um, Right, I think that's important for people to be aware of is that that's you're not making a decision on on whether the commission is good or or, or right. bad. It's it's just the merits of this petition itself. That's right. Yeah. Um, the other one is a little um, is uh, um, this is not a public hearing. It's a second reading for amending, amending the administrative code, chapter two forty one, and that's the youth commission and Council Cullum, who's the liaison to that, has brought this this item forward and. Um, wanting to uh, include members on the youth commission from other schools, not just Barnstable um, High School, but uh, we have m many other schools in the in the town now: Sturgis Charter and the uh, um, um, the Catholic schools, um, both um, um, Pope Pope John Paul, I think that's called. Yep, PJP two Pope John Paul. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I think that's good. It, it also includes some um, adults, but they're not voting members, and uh, get a little bit more involvement in, instead of um, uh, the the, uh, the uh, small small group. She's hoping to expand the group and get more voices. Uh, included exactly. in that. So and I think, too, the students come, uh, you know, for those other schools from Sturgis and, and, and PJP um, from all around the Cape, so it'll be interesting to hear perspectives um, from students who may not just reside in Barnstable, but reside in other Cape Cod towns. Yeah, and, you know, there's a lot of problems facing our youth today, and to get a, a broad um, view of it, I think, is, is a good thing. So. Uh, that's a that's a good addition, I think, to the administrative code. Indeed, and then of course uh, we'll be moving on to start to the public hearings on the fiscal plan for Capital Fifteen. Yeah, and uh, what I did was, um, it's there are so many items involved. We we know we can't get uh, to all of them in, in our time. You know, we usually run to eleven and have to vote to go beyond that time. So, what I've done is asked. Uh, to have the agenda split into categories, and we're going to focus on the Water Supply Enterprise Fund, the Water Pollution Control Enterprise Fund, Solid Waste Enterprise Fund, the Barnstable Public Schools, Administrative Services Department, Growth Management Department, and Regulatory Services Department at, at uh, tonight's meeting. On our meeting of the 17th, um, we'll carry over any items that don't get um, voted on tonight, and to include also the airport, community services, and public works. Those, you know, those are um, in themselves three very hefty categories and contain quite a bit of items. So um, I thought uh, it'd be best to, to split them up that way too. Absolutely, and and so much information, uh, you know, for for you and your fellow counselors to absorb. Uh, and and will each individual uh, department or division be making presentations uh, regarding their capital requests at the public hearings? They will, yes. And along with this, um, I I uh, 
have requested that uh, we get a little roadmap, and uh, I, I'm so happy to see this. Uh, you know, we, we're given a very thick book to accompany this, the budget book, capital yes. budget book. And so what we do with each item, we've got a little roadmap with each item so that each co- uh, counselor will know where in the page that book uh, of the book they can refer to to get a, a brief description and then more detailed sheets of it. Um, and it's right at their fingertips. So I, I, I would expect most counselors have already uh, gone through their, their book quite extensively, as I have. And uh, But uh, this, f- for um, ease and uh, um, streamlining the evening, will will I think this roadmap will help. So Absolutely. And, and I have seen that book, Jessica, and it is certainly a, a very thick, a very hefty document, uh, lots of information in there. But I think, uh, you know, organized... And uh, it's 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 pretty understandable. Uh, some some pictures, uh, et cetera, there, so so people can kind of take a look at it and, and get a sense of, of what uh, our various departments are trying to accomplish with the budget. That's right, and and uh, I I will reiterate too that these are all up for public hearing, um, and uh, any amendments to any of the items um, can only be made to reduce the items. They can't be made to increase the item the uh, appro- appropriation. So just for the public's awareness of that. Great. And, of course, I think this, uh, this might be a good opportunity, too, to remind people that if they can't attend the meeting uh, but do want to comment, you do have the, the online comment form that people can fill out and submit to speak to some of these items. That's right. All they need to do is reference the agenda item number and include their name and the precinct they're from, and, um, and they could go on and on and on. <laughs> I, think, I, I think we have a limited number of characters they can enter, but uh, I suppose they could enter it a few times. But um, I think that's a, a good tool to provide for those that can attend. For sure. And uh, there are a couple of new business items uh, after the CIP orders. I'm thinking probably not super likely that you'll make it to those uh, dealing with all of the uh, the, the capital uh, uh, public hearings. Well, at the end of the CIP orders, there are a couple of, uh, of um, housekeeping appointments to boards, committee, and commissions, uh, item one, two, three, um, and that's um, appointments to the historical commission the Economic Development Commission Personnel Advisory Board um, and the Trust Fund Advisory and the JFK Memorial Trust Fund and the uh, Housing Committee. Um, and these these are uh, second reads. The Appointments Committee has been very busy um, uh, interviewing volunteers for those boards. There is also, um, there was one item that was bifurcated and separated out, and that's become item 123A, and that's uh, appointment to the uh, Water Pollution Control Board. So that ends the, the old business. The new business is uh, um, simply uh, referring to public hearing on the, on the um, 17th, uh, two more appropriations for the airport um, that was not listed before, and one refer to the planning board for public hearing, and that's um, regarding the flood area provisions and um, uh, renaming the uh, those provisions um, of the zoning ordinance. So we'll refer, refer to that to the uh, planning board. Sure. So, Jessica, anything additional uh, that you would like to get out there about uh, tonight's meeting that our viewers might want to be aware of? No, I, I think I just want to, um, I, I expect there'll be some turnout with regard to the petition, but I really want to urge the public to focus on the merits of the petition and uh, what the petition is asking the council to do um, with that information and, uh, um, and so that we can get through the orders of the day. And, and I'm not saying I don't want to hear from the public, but just try to keep it focused. So. Indeed. Well, Jessica, thank you so much, as always, for joining us here on Barnstable this morning, and we will see you at Town Council. Thank you, Sarah. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jessica rapp of course, is the president of the Barnstable Town Council. The council meets tonight at 7 o'clock in the Town Hall hearing room. It will air live right here on Channel 18. You can find uh, information and the agenda online at town.barnstable.ma.us. For Barnstable this morning, I'm Sarah Colvin.